unsuitable for HGVs but very suitable for woodies. Right we're going to have a look. What oh, a fantastic bit of road. Yeah, it's dropped us out of the walls and that's it, this is Pocklington ahead of us down here. And there's loads of ways back to Beverly. Absolutely. I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. <laughs> If you haven't got a little 250 utility bike, get one, because by God they are good fun. And the places they can get you to are just unbelievable. Oh, that's a cracking bit of road. I've really found something nice here. So I'll probably drop me down in the middle of Pocklington. That's my best guess anyway. I would love to do a woody ride this year and I'm hoping a few friends will come and share one of these rides with me. Oh, I know where I am. Yeah, Pocklington Golf Club that. Oh, I've been there. Oh, right. E the things you learn. Stay there. So I know what this will bring us out. Oh, woo! Gotta go back and have a look at that. That was a view and a half. Was that? Come on, we'll start. How many go? See, this is what I'm on about with, with Tetley. As, as nimble as Tetley is now, he ain't that nimble. <laughs> I'd have tried to do that 10, I'd have dropped the bloody bike, I know I would. Oh, wow. Oh, this, ah, this is a Buddhist retreat. I know what this is. Yeah, I, 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 I can't pronounce the name of it, just a minute, I need to, that's it, that's, I don't, however you pronounce that, and it's a Buddhist retreat, it's fantastic. Okay, so this is what I was trying to show you, so it's a Buddhist um, retreat, and it's this beautiful parkland with it, it's absolutely amazing. Killick Percy Golf Club. So I'll remember this one because I didn't I didn't know about this road. So I found a road I've never ridden before. This is going down to uh, uh, Numbernum and then it takes us on to Lonsborough. Just scared myself stupid there with Woody. Stopped to look at uh, a Buddhist retreat which you'll have seen in the last vlog. Came back, got on him, pressed the start button, nothing. Oh no, <laughs> what have I done? Uh, think about it logically, tried to move him, and he was in gear. He'd, he'd stopped in a false neutral. So, uh, put him back into neutral, and he starts. 
little bugger. He frightens me to death when he does that. I don't know why he does it. But he won't start if he's in gear. I don't know why that is. If any of you can tell me, I'd be interested to know. But he won't start. You pull the clutch in, he won't start. Tetley, pull the clutch in, he'll start in gear. He won't, and I don't understand why. It's an absolutely blindingly pretty little road. You can see Numbernham Church down there in the bottom. And we're literally... Everything going uphill here goes into the walls. That's the Vale of York. But it's turned into a really pretty day. I'd more or less made my mind that when I got to uh, the, the Buddhist retreat that was going to be the end of my filming for today, but... When I, you know, I came, I came across the road. Well, I rode past the, the junction, saw it, and I thought, oh, I've never been down there. Must go and have a look. Whoa. Yeah, that's what you don't need. I just saw that loose gravel at the last minute, and I knew I was going to go straight th through it. Concentrate. filmed the whole of this. When I find a new road, I always... F oh, I know where I am. Yeah. Yes. We came here last year, would we? Yes, I know exactly where I am. Excellent. And I know where to go now. This is a cracking ride. Yeah, it looks like it's a dead-end road, but it, it, it goes to the right. You've got to come down though to see, look, can you see that? Goes over a bridge. So as you can see, with scenery like this, you've got to have a 250. You just have to do. And it's and a little dirt bike. I, I, I don't know if it's just me, but um, there seems to be less and less of these kind of bikes. Um, I can only think of well, I can only think of one other um, like equivalent to this, and that's a CRF 250. And I'm not sure if we get the Yamaha 250 in this country. Loads of one two fives, but I'm too big, too heavy for a one two five. I need a 250. It's a shame that Sinis or um, Lex Motor don't do this bike because I think there's a market for it. I really do. No. Oh wow, this is climbing. Wow. Yeehaw, look at that. 
Good grief. Oh, we've come up a serious bit there. Again, you couldn't do that with the <laughs> Back end sliding all over the place. You literally feel like you're on top of the world here and you're only a couple hundred feet up. It's such a lovely ride. That goes down to Middleton, does it? I don't really want to go back that way. That's the Vale of York. Ghoul over here. Some serious views. Over in the distance there you can see Egbra power stations. You won't be able to see them, but I can see them in the mist. You just don't want to turn the camera off when you get lovely views like this, because this is what it's all about, isn't it? I just hope this... Um, the breeze into my face. I noticed with this helmet that um, it, 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 you do get a bit of wind noise on the mics. It's actually, uh, I had to take it off while I was up at, um, uh, where was I? Oh, I can't remember where it was now, but when I stopped, when I stopped where the, the buddy's place is, I took my crash helmet off because it was actually, it, it started to hurt my head. I think it just needs replacing. Um, I wish I could find another one of these because I'd replace it with one of these. Seeing as fast as we went up the hill there, we're back down again. Turn left to Market Wheaton. I think we've been out uh, a good hour and hour, hour and twenty minutes probably. And I've had an absolutely blindingly good ride. And I go back, you know, and I'll get the bike in the carriage. I mean, he's a bit muddy. <laughs> so I might have to just get the hose pipe out. But again, it's part of the reason why I, you know, I took all the, the stuff off him. I want him more. You know, I want him to be a proper country lane bike. So I thought, oh, I'll get that top box taken off. And I've left the carrier on, obviously, because I can use it if I need it. It doesn't need to be on all the time, and I thought I'll stick that bag on. So it's, if I want to take my jet boil, you know, make a, make a brew while I'm out, I've got it. But I was sick and tired of it, rattle, rattle, rattle. And I thought, no, 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 you don't need it on all the time. Take it off. If I get a, um, if I do get a 250 rally, I'm, I won't, I won't go with the top box. I'll, I'm going to get some. Um, you know, some proper dirt bike bags. It's just something I can stick on the back and... As long as it, as long as it carries me a spare pair of gloves and... Uh, and my jet boil and my coffee making kit, that, that'll do. They've had a CRF 250 rally for sale in Miles Kingsport. I reckon they've had it a year, a, a, a good year probably a bit longer than that and they can't sell it and the, and the strange thing about it is in in the time they've sold they've bought brought in two others and sold them and that one's still there and I, I don't understand it because I've had a look at it there's nothing wrong with it I don't get it and then, then since I've the last time I was there they've now got a CRF 250L as well but I must say I do prefer the rallies just a little bit taller
back on the 614. We're just going to cross it. Lonsborough roundabout, that was. And all I'm doing now is just going to ride down this road. Until I get to uh, where the York Railway line used to cross the, the, this road and turn left. And uh, that'll take me back to it and saves me having to ride on the main road. Grand. One of the old railway arches, this was um, from the Market Wheaton to, well, Driffield and Bridlington line. But we're on. Um, Bracken Lane when we go over that old abandoned bridge, that's part of the route. This is Goodmanham. This is a cracking little village, it's got a nice pub. Big on daffodils. Some gorgeous houses they're building here as well. Blossom, nice to see. Rapidly running into April now and everything's starting to come right and the temperatures are going up. I think this is one of the nicest rides I've had in a long, long time. I have really, really enjoyed this. The Fiddle Drill. Oh, it's a restaurant. Haven't been up here since last autumn. Took some photographs across those fields when they were ploughing and now it's all coming through. Well, for um, an hour and a half's ride, I've got a lot of film. An amazing amount of film. Just seeing one of my land compasses over there, South Dalton Church. <laughs> Just glanced to your right. I wasn't quite sure who it was. Oh yeah, no I am now. Just checking me, yeah. Uh, speedo there and I've got another 80 kilometers and Woody will have done 10,000 kilometers that's pretty impressive uh, it's about six six thousand miles I think he'll have done uh, and ne nearly 5,000 of those I've done on him I don't know what happened there. This yes, says he's recording. I thought the battery had gone. So just riding down, we've got um, 
Uh, I can't remember the name of it, the railway station down there at the bottom. Um, Kipling Coats. Oh, I've already forgotten that. Anyway, that's two uh, vlogs I've managed to do today. I've had a thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable afternoon. In front of me now is um, South Dalton over here and Etton is ahead of me, which is where I'm making a beeline for. I need to get home because I've come out with the keys. My wife has this habit. She goes out for the afternoon and you can always guarantee the one thing Judy will forget to take with her is her bloody keys. So I've got the keys and I'm just a bit worried that she gets home before me and then she's locked out because I won't hear the end of that. Not that, because <laughs> it would be my fault, wouldn't it? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed um, this adventure with Woody and uh, I'll say bye bye for now. Ta ta!